hop maneuver is 89% sensitive, highly sensitive. And then to complete that, you do an external rotation stress. The knee's at 90, the foot's at neutral. You take the foot, you stabilize the tibia, and you mm. externally rotate. And I have a picture of that under fluoro scan uh, or x-ray, and that will seal the deal because uh, you will appreciate the instability most of the time. How many times, you know, the external rotation test is 71% sensitive. So between those three tests, you have high sensitivity what the diagnosis is. And then as far as specificity, go down to specific tests. The squeeze test, it's very simple. You go mid-calf and you squeeze the tibia and the fibula together. Believe it or not, that test is 89%. It's called the cotton test or the squeeze test. That test is 89% specific. So if you don't have that, uh, if that test is negative, you probably don't have a syndesmosis sprain. But when you do that test, you will get pain out of the proportion to what you would think. Those patients are in severe pain. Okay. And that's basically it. Those are the sensitive tests that I do and the specific tests that I do. And then if you were in a situation like you posed there, uh, Ben, you said this athlete comes in with a fresh injury and I do this testing and this is positive, what would I get uh, other than a, a, a stress test under fluoro or x-ray, which I'll show you in a second, I would get an MRI. An MRI will show you great soft tissue. Uh, 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 it'll show you the soft tissue really well and uh, you'll be able to come up with a, a tentative diagnosis.